loves and welcome back. My name's Angelique. If you are new here and today we are packing for Maui in two days. What's today? Yep. In about two days, Sawyer, myself, my brother, his girlfriend, my stepsister, her boyfriend, my dad, and his wife are all heading over to Maui for our yearly family vacation. We didn't get to do it last year because of circumstances and very, very excited. I've been going to Maui to this same hotel for about 10 or 12 years so it's honestly like a second home to me so I'm very excited to pack for this trip. So that's what today's video is, a little pack with me. And I've kind of started, not really, I've just been throwing things on the bed that I know I wanna take. So we definitely need to get to packing because I wanna be all done and ready before my family gets here. But before we do that, let's do a little skincare routine because I need to wash my face. And since I'm just packing today, I want to just let my skin be. So let's go ahead and do that first. So for this portion of the video, I actually teamed up with Sand and Sky to share with you guys their Heartbreaker kit, the Glow Essentials. And I picked this kit and this little hairband because it is full of vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and I just loved all the ingredients in this kit. And I love a good glowy look. And that's exactly what these products give. Who needs makeup when you're packing for a trip? <laughs> so with that being said, let's wash my skin because it looks really, really dull and a little dry. I don't know why. So we'll fix that. In the Heartbreaker kit, let me open it up. I put it back in its cute little packaging so that way you guys can see. So the first product we're going to use is the Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Enzyme Powder Polish. Now I'm a big fan of enzyme polishes because I love that you're not just like scrubbing at your face. The enzymes are doing all the work so you don't create any micro tears or anything like that. It's just gently exfoliating your skin and that sounds a lot better to me than just scrubbing at my face. Now it comes in this little jar. It has this cute little tab here that you can open and close so that way it doesn't get everywhere. And you just put about half a spoonful in your hand say that's good and you let it sit on your skin for about three minutes two to three minutes once we get it on there and also while the fruit enzymes like eat away at the dead skin cells it also has the sand and sky potent australian glow berries emu apple Kwandong and Davidson Plum to help deliver a boost of brightness to the skin. A lot of great ingredients in here for hydration, exfoliation, and just overall glow. So let's go ahead and apply this. So you just add water. So it's a white powder and it turns pink. Oh my gosh, look at that. Can you see? It turns pink when you add water. That is so cute. It is now on my skin. We will let that sit for about two to three minutes and I will be back once I wash it off and show you guys the next step. Oh yeah. You can always tell when you exfoliate your skin. It feels so nice. It feels like baby skin. The next step in the Heartbreaker kit is the Australian Emu Apple Super Bounce Mask. Now, this is full of potent vitamin C as well as hyaluronic acid and even jojoba oil to help lock in that moisture. So with this mask, you just let it sit on your skin for about 10 minutes and just let your skin absorb that hydration. Where did my little applicator go? I just had it. Oh, there it is. All right, we're just gonna take a little bit, like so, and apply the mask to our face. This is exactly what I want like a hydrating mask to feel like. Like I'm not, not even exaggerating. All right, so I applied a nice little layer. So I'm gonna let this sit for about 10 minutes. Let my skin absorb all that vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and just get that glow and moisture and I will be back to apply the last step of the skincare routine. So 10 minutes later, we are now ready to rinse off this mask and I need to actually use this little hair wrap because last time I tried rinsing my face after the polish, I got my hair all wet. I do not need that. <laughs> it makes me feel like I am getting a facial. Well, I guess I kind of am. An at-home facial. <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and rinse this off. The last step in this Heartbreaker kit is the Sand and Sky Australian Emu Apple Dreamy Glow Drops. So these little drops are packed with some great ingredients. We have the glow berries that help with aging as well as boost that hyaluronic acid, giving you even more hydration. Not to mention there is a blend of jojoba oil, almond oil, and olive oils. So I'm gonna apply about four drops 
and just let that soak into my skin. I also wanted to let you know that Sand and Sky is 100% vegan, cruelty free, and dermatologist approved. Very happy with my results. These glow drops are everything. My skin feels like baby, 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 baby soft and I love that. So now I'm ready to go start packing and just let my skin soak up all of this moisture, vitamin C, hyaluronic acid, and just let my skin take a break for a day. I always love doing that every once in a while. So all the information for Sand and Sky will be down in the description box below. I will have the link there for you and a little bit more information as well as a code for you guys. So feel free to use A-N-G-E-C for 10% off of your order. I love when my skin feels glowy and fresh and all moisturized. So let's go start packing for Maui. So I can I mentioned I kind of started to put things on the bed that I wanted to take but there's also a few things that I am not going to so I'm going to take a second and kind of get this under control so we have a better grasp of what I want to bring and then we will start the packing process so let's fix this mess So now I roughly put away things that I'm not bringing and kind of made piles according to possibilities. So I'm gonna go grab my suitcase and then we will start with my checklist as far as what I wanna bring. So the suitcase has been retrieved. Luckily it was already out and ready because I needed it when I went to Utah. So I haven't done a packing video in a while because well, we really haven't been traveling. We haven't been like vlogging in a really long time and I used to do them every time. We used to go somewhere fun and different. I used to pack with you guys. So I feel kind of like nostalgic doing this video. <laughs> Anyways, whenever I pack, I always create a packing list. I find it so much easier when you are in the packing mode. You just have a list to refer back to and to check off. So we're gonna go into my master bedroom and start with hats and swimsuits. Those are two things, oh, also socks and underwear, but just do that because we're in there. But those are a few things that I know I will need to bring. So I always love to get like those items out of the way and then we'll move on to like dresses and outfits and all of that. So let's head into the master bedroom, pick some hats and swimsuits and go from there. Okay, part of the mess, we are in packing mode, but um, I'm gonna go through my hat wall. Yes, I have an obsession with hats. I'm well aware, don't even worry about it. We live in Hawaii and I need to protect my face. So I'm gonna pick the hats that I want to bring and then as we pick outfits and stuff, I might take some out, but we're just gonna get a rough idea of the hats that I want. Okay, I think that's good for now. So I ended up picking this like white hat. I actually got this at TJ Maxx not too long ago, but I absolutely loved it, so I got it. Um, and then I got this white little, I always call this like my little grandma visor. I actually got this at a golf store in Utah when I was home, but I love my visors, like my oversized visors or big visors. So I got this white one. Then I have my straw one that everyone asks me questions about. I will link this down below because it is so freaking good. It's from Amazon and it's like the best thing ever. Um, so those are that. And then we have another visor. It's like half of a hat. It's like missing the top, but it's so freaking cute. So I will bring that. And then I have this adorable little straw hat. This is a little nicer, so I could like wear this one to dinner or if I, yeah, dress it up a little bit. So yeah, I think I'm good on the hat front. That's five hats. That should be good, let's be real. So luckily all these stack pretty well. I'll have to just widen this one. And this one is the only one that I might Oh, it actually fits in nicely that way. Love that. Okay, Ooh. all right, those are the hats. I'll set them here. Then we'll flip around and pick some swimsuits. So guys, I was lazy today. Well, more so busy than lazy. I did not make the bed like I normally do, so. Whew, it's been one of those weeks, you know? All right, so underneath the bed is where I keep all of my swimsuits. So let's go through and pick which ones I want to bring. Now, I always overpack on swimsuits because it's a vacation and I never know which one I will want to wear. So I like to overpack my swimsuits. I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, some people don't, they'd rather bring less. I rather have more. So that being said, I actually ordered a bunch of swimsuits last year um, and then quarantine hit and our beaches were closed. So I never got to wear them. It made me so freaking sad. So, let's 
see what we got. swimsuits that I am bringing. I have a little bit of everything and I'm totally okay with that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now that is a lot, but we are there like seven full days and I just want to have options just in case, you know, a little bit of everything, different styles, different colors, different whatevers. And I grabbed one, one piece as well. So that is good on that front. So we got swimsuits, hats, I'm gonna quickly grab some socks, underwears, and bras, and I will meet you guys back at the suitcase. We have the hats, I'll just set those there. I'll actually probably put these in a carry-on bag. I just sometimes find that easier with hats, um, especially since we're not traveling far. So, with my suitcase, I always like to organize it very specifically. So, I love this suitcase that I have from Samsonite. I love all the compartments. It's like one of my favorite ones. I traveled everywhere with it when we traveled a ton. So I always use this mesh pocket for like my socks and underwear. And then on this front pocket, whenever I travel somewhere to tropical, I always use this outside pocket for my swimsuits. I just feel like the more organized your suitcase is, the better your trip will be. Don't know why, but it makes me feel better. And yes, I actually travel with all of them in their baggies. Again, it just makes it easier when packing, unpacking. It just is a nicer experience. All right, next up, we're gonna start on clothes, which is always the most stressful part. So I do have a pair of sweat shorts and sweat pants. Um, they are the same color. They're just from um, Elwood. I love these. They will match pretty much all of the like oversized button downs I'm bringing. So I'm pretty much just gonna be wearing these for PJs and just calling it good keep it simple and then I'm gonna grab just a t-shirt that actually goes with that set so it all matches as well as a crop top and that should pretty much cover it as far as PJs so now we're gonna head into the guest bedroom which is where I keep all of like my dresses rompers all of that and we're gonna start picking outfits and seeing what I'm kind of thinking of bringing I'm really excited for this trip because we haven't traveled on like a tropical vacation like an actual vacation where we are not filming the trip like we're just gonna take a vacation and I cannot wait so I'm gonna bring a lot of cute like matching outfits and just things like I'm not gonna I'm not we're not going for a month like normally when we had travel we'd be gone for months and I would have to like try to get creative with my outfits to get the most out of it none of that this time I am bringing cute vacation outfits that I've been wanting to wear so with that in mind let's go through my closet excited I have all of these matching outfits that I haven't worn um, just because we really haven't gotten dressed up very much and these just feel so like touristy to me and that's why I can't wait to wear them on vacation on a different island it's just something so fun about I don't know going on vacation and wearing all those outfits that you would never normally wear if that makes sense and I have so many cute like pineapple and printed outfits so yeah excited about this all right let's head back in there Okay, now I do have a few outfits that are on my, my new arrivals rack, so I'm gonna go through that and see if there's anything that I wanna add over there. And yeah, I'm gonna start pulling some beach cover-ups too. I'm gonna bring a lot of button downs that I can just like throw over a swimsuit and call it good. This is kind of like organized chaos. Yes, it looks very messy and it is. <laughs> so I'm going to take a second. This is everything that I have pulled out to bring. Now, not all of this is going to be brought. There is no way humanly possible that even makes sense. So I'm just gonna start organizing it into piles and like getting an idea of outfits. And just a little tip, whenever I pack, I like to pack an outfit. Um, this prevents you from bringing anything unnecessary or too many of like a certain item. I mean, sure, you're, you can bring an extra tank top and such, but I just like to have an idea of outfits before I even go, so that way everything makes sense. So that being said, 
I'm gonna start putting it into outfits and seeing how many I actually have and can start taking out what doesn't need to be there. So I have more outfits than <laughs> I thought. So I have kind of started getting things into piles. So there's a few outfits that I know I definitely wanna bring. There are a few sets and dresses and I'm like, yes, those are 100% coming. So I'm gonna start packing my suitcase and just seeing where we get. Um, I do have some outfits that I kinda wanna try on and figure out, but for now, let's just pack this and see how far we get. All right, so I feel like I consolidated. <laughs> I took out a few bigger items like sweatpants. I don't need sweatpants, I have sweat shorts. I took out a very heavy romper, um, like jumpsuit, which I love, but it's just not necessary. I have enough cute outfits with between shorts, Ollie, between shorts, sweat shorts, dresses, and all of that. I just don't need to pack something so heavy. So now I gotta decide on what like jackets to bring. Actually, you know what? First, I'm gonna kind of clean up behind me. Give me one second. I just don't like packing and clutter. If I know I'm not bringing it, I want it out of the way. Okay, as far as white dresses, Sawyer's here to help me because I have a ton of white outfits. Uh -huh. um, okay, so let's do dresses. Well, these are my white outfits. I have this matching set. It's like shorts matching. Cute little that. I have this white dress, right? I have this knit <laughs> white dress a little more slinky or this one that we took our photos in like this the one that ties we took our photos in it the t-shirt or the one you already took photos in fair i'm definitely over packing definitely but i feel like this is a great opportunity to wear all these cute matching outfits i mean i can wear them anytime but they're very like vacation vibes and i'm all about it what would what what would what? Pan do. Pan do? Yeah. Who's Pan? Pan. Oh, Tan. Oh, yeah. What would Tan do? What would Tan do? He would bring all of his pineapple outfits to Hawaii. Yeah, right. He would. Okay, you gotta look. You got. You're gonna kick out of this. Look at my swim or my swimsuit. Uh, my my suitcase. I have my mom on Facetime to show her. Um, okay, look. So I have one pineapple, I have one print, like Wait, matching. what's the blue pineapple? I haven't seen that one. Oh, you haven't? I got it from Zara last year. It's like a polo with like shorts. So we have that and then this cute outfit I got sent. It's like a green palm with a matching like tie top. So pants and top. We have the orange dress. Nice. I know because what well, you think about it, when you're here walking around, you don't do this because you're not like at a resort. It's different, you know what I mean. So I have my, a tan linen romper, I have a linen dress, I have like a few white dresses and then a few white cover-ups. But isn't that funny, like the colors? And they're all matching sets. <laughs> I love it. Okay, now question for you. Okay, so do we do a jean jacket? I have my Vince jacket that we love. Yep, that's enough. So as far as polo, like my button downs, you know that I'm big into those obviously. I really only, I only have this pink one in here so far. So I don't need a ton because I know Sawyer will have a few as well. And then do I just do this thin one that I have on that I wore today and then I can maybe steal one of Sawyer's if I need it? Yes. I feel like I've done pretty good. Like I know it's a lot, but like. I don't think you need a jean jacket and your bench jacket. I think that might be a little overkill. Okay, well let me see what I have. Okay, I always love to call my mom and kind of get her opinion. Her and I always do everything together, so that was helpful. She helped me remember an outfit that I almost forgot and helped me pick through a few things. Um, I always like to overpack, and she's always calling me out on my stuff, which is nice. Um, she said I don't need to bring a pair of jeans, and she's correct, except I kind of just want to have one, you know? Um, anyways, um, everything is now packed. I have all my little outfits. I have all my sundresses. I have my jean shorts and I have like my sweats, extra tank tops, and um, little lounge outfits. And to be honest, I decided I am not bringing workout clothes. If anything, I'll maybe walk the path in the morning and call it good, but I do not feel like I need to work out on vacation. I haven't worked out in the last three weeks, so I'm gonna save myself the room and not bring workout clothes. 
and that feels great to say. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and put away these other things that I just took out that I don't need, and then we'll do shoes and purses. So as far as shoes, I'm gonna keep it pretty simple. I'm just gonna bring a pair of little tan heels. These are pretty low, but they will go with almost anything. Um, those are for nights, like if I feel like dressing up or for going to a nicer restaurant. I'm just gonna bring a white pair of Birkenstocks, a pair of uh, tennis shoes. I'm gonna wear these on the plane. This is also in case we like go walk around. Um, there is a path by the resort we stay, so um, this, these will be nice to have. And then I have these slides from Zara that have been like my stable for such a long time. Um, these will go with everything as well. And then I have a pair of foam Birkenstocks that I can wear with like swimsuits and actually outfits, anything, but these are really light, so these are easy to just throw in in a perfect little flip-flop. So that's the shoe situation. I will organize that and make it prettier, but let's pick the purses I want to bring. And this guy, so these will be my three bags. I'm actually just gonna bring this as my beach bag as well, because I can put like my little sunscreen bag, um, chapstick and water bottle and that kind of thing in there. Honestly, I don't wanna bring a big beach bag I just don't. So this will be my beach bag and an extra purse as well. And I'm gonna call that good as far as purses. Um, and to be honest, I'm gonna keep my makeup and hair super simple so that I don't feel like I need to pack or like drag you guys through. <laughs> um, I feel like this is a great start. Um, and now I'm just gonna like reorganize it, refold it, and actually zip the suitcase. I feel like we're pretty much packed. And that feels good. I haven't packed for a vacation in almost two years. I mean, yes, I just went home to Utah, but that was just like throwing jeans and a t-shirt and just going home. This is like fun, tropical vacation with the family, fun swimsuits, cover-ups, matching sets. <sighs> oh yeah, and tons of hats. I'm so excited about all my hats and to style my outfits with my hats. <laughs> it's so funny, but I freaking love my hats. Well loves, there you have it. That was my little pack with me and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my process and seeing all of my matching outfits go into a suitcase for Maui. So I cannot wait for this vacation to actually go on vacation with my family, with Sawyer, and just enjoy the trip and oh, we can not wait. So be sure you guys are following us on Instagram as well because we will be posting tons of photos there. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And also, I will have all the information down below for Sand and Sky, along with the link and discount code for you guys to use. Um, I still can't believe how soft my skin feels. Um, I definitely needed that good scrub and hydration, and it was really nice to do it before vacation. That is it. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day, and as always, we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!